Hello everyone, TK here, and you're watching the Gold Guru Show on the ShoddyCast channel. Today I would like to add a video that supplements Radon's previous video on buying the salvageable container bags. Um, what makes these items uh, unique to other items on the trading post is that you're not trying to buy the items at a low price just to resell them at a higher price. Uh, what you're trying to do is just buy the item at the lowest price you can to open them up and then sell the materials you get from them. Um, what this allows you to do is actually lower the lowest selling price to just within one copper of your highest order that you've placed. Uh, so what am I talking about? Let's go ahead and go into tiny supply, uh, supply bags so I can show you an example. These are actually my current favorite bags to buy and resell because they do have some of the best materials, or the best selling materials at least, that sell for quite a bit, and especially these jute scraps. A lot of jute scraps come from these bags, um, as well as these onyx slivers that I think only actually come from these bags. It may come from other ones, but especially this one. Okay, so anyway, so you'll see here that there's a price difference of three copper right now. So the lowest selling price is 24, the highest buying price is 21. I actually have some orders placed here at 21 copper. Um, so what I could do is actually lower the lowest selling price to, down to 22 copper. That's just one copper above the highest selling price. Now why, or highest buying price, sorry. Why would I want to do this? Well, it effectively does three different things. It keeps other uh, buyers from placing orders at a higher price than you. So if someone came around and wanted to start another tier at 22 copper to fill their orders quicker, well, they would still be able to do that. But if I effectively lower the price here down to 22 copper, which I can actually do right now, let's go ahead and sell some of these bags. Let's sell 50 of them at 22 copper. So we're gonna sell that. All right, let's go back to tiny supply bags. Oops, tiny supply bags. You'll see here that there's only a one copper difference here. So again, that keeps other buyers from being able to post above you since the ceiling is 22, they can't go any higher since they can't match. All right, um, what this also does is it will fill your, um, your orders quicker because sellers will see that one copper difference. When they see that one copper difference between the lowest selling and the highest buying, they'll be like, well, I can lose a few copper and sell my items instantly and fill that order for them or I can just you know not pay attention and and wait possibly wait and sell my stuff on the trading post um, at the 22 copper so if they're not paying attention they could still do that but if they are paying attention and they want their money right away they would sell at the 21 copper thus filling your order quicker and the final thing this does is it gives you the option to buy bags instantly because there is only a one copper difference. If a lot of sellers are selling at the lowest price, so say there was like 500 available here, you can go ahead and buy some of those bags if you felt you wanted more bags instantly instead of having to wait for your orders to be filled. So if you're a little impatient, sometimes I am, I know, then you can go ahead and buy some of those. Since there is that only one copper difference, you're not going to be losing much money at all. Um, but I would suggest that you don't buy all of them, because you want to keep that tier there as long as possible, since you don't want anyone sneaking and putting in their orders at the next tier. Now you could effectively even lower the price of bags um, by pretty much doing the same technique. Um, what you would do is again buy bags and then lower the price down to just within one copper and if there were not a lot of orders on the tiers here which obviously there are a lot of orders here so it wouldn't really work for this type of bag but for the higher end bags if there's only like say five orders like ten orders whatever um, go ahead and buy uh, with those bags you bought fill those orders in to get rid of those price tiers and then go right behind that and then again lower the selling price to within one copper of the highest buying price. So you could keep doing that to just lower the price down <clears throat> to um, your most comfortable selling price. Now there are a few things you want to keep in mind when doing this, and I'm sorry that my voice is kind of going a little bit. 
Um, you don't want to lower it too much because you want to make sure it's not too close to the uh, the vendor price because then other people that are selling their bags on the auction house because they don't realize they can open them or whatever else you don't want them to go and vendor it because they see there's only a little bit of a difference in price and they want to sell it instantly then they're gonna go to the vendor so don't lower it too much and then also uh, when you are lowering the selling price be sure that you're adding more than just like one bag to a tier as you're lowering it and don't skip all the way down to the final tier just all the way down because if that gets filled or if someone uh, buys that listing then it's gonna shoot right back up to the high price allowing other people again to post above you and they will do that because they see that they have a lot of room to move up so make sure that you gradually lower the selling price down to the highest buying price but anyway that is it for me hopefully you understood what I was going on about I know it is somewhat of a difficult concept to get but if you do have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below this has been TK for the gold guru on the shoddy cast channel we will catch you later craft it was low it was a 5% cut they would take on anything you sold so anything you sell they're taking 5% on the top just before you get mailed the money.